Hey guys, what's up? In this video, we want to talk about jQuery versus JavaScript. In one of the previous videos I had, I had mentioned that, um, I believe what I had said, and I'd have to go through and, and hear it word for word, um, but w what I, I believe I had said is that I had recommended that when one is just starting out with web development, that they don't spend a ton of time learning JavaScript before jQuery um, if they were trying to get something done. So. I, I have always advocated that one should learn the JavaScript language. You should obviously know what an array is or how to create variables. Um, you should know how to do for loops and, uh, you know, basic for loops and, um, and just a lot of, like, the basic syntax that exists in every single language. So I've always said that you should learn that in, in JavaScript before jumping to jQuery. But in one of my previous videos, I had said that if you're trying to get a website up and running and you're trying to use, you know, uh, I guess, you know, more modern UI approaches with plugins like uh, light, light boxes for images and things like that, um, that I felt like it was an important thing to try to jump into jQuery as soon as possible because most major websites are, are using jQuery in one way or another, and it does make things um, so much easier to deal with in a cross-browser uh, compliant way where if you're just starting out and you're trying to go the JavaScript route, I don't think it's a bad idea. I really don't think that there's a right and wrong answer, but... Uh, if you go the traditional JavaScript route, you know a new newcomer may end up, you know, working on a, a plugin, and then finally they, you know, they get it working uh, to the way that they think they want it, and maybe they're testing in Chrome or something like that. Uh, they're probably not going to be testing in, in on Android and on iOS, and you know, not initially anyway, uh, or Safari or Mozilla or IE or Edge or whatever you want to call it. And they're going to quickly notice once they start doing that that the, their JavaScript code isn't cross-browser compliant so it's it's working in chrome but it doesn't work in this or this works in that and it doesn't work in chrome so those are the the cross browser headaches that i was kind of referring to when somebody is just starting out um, that jquery is going to save them a lot of that hassle when it comes to actually running a website but you're probably asking if you want to be a javascript programmer and you want to be you know cutting edge and, and writing cutting edge modern javascript like advanced javascript what is the better solution? And in that particular case, I would say that JavaScript is definitely the way to go because there's so many uh, nuances and, and things in, in the JavaScript language that are very unusual compared to other programming languages. The fact that, that JavaScript can also be considered a functional language as one, uh, where you're passing in functions as, as arguments, and, and then there's things like callbacks, uh, there's prototypical inheritance. A lot of that stuff is going to be well over the head of the programmer just starting out so it really just depends on on where you want to be i mean do you want to be a, a full stack web developer that has experience in you know python and django or flask and maybe dealing with a, a ui library like angular or you know react mixed in with some jquery and maybe some you know a bit of raw javascript here and there well then in that case i think that jquery would probably be the better option or even why not just learn um, you know, React. If you're going to be using React, React uses JSX, and JSX is unlike anything like jQuery or, you know, raw JavaScript. It's it's uh, it's this mix mash of HTML and JavaScript into this new language they call JSX. And I'll admit, the first time I ever saw it, I hated it. I hated it with a passion. The second time I tried to give it a shot, I hated it just as much. Maybe not. Maybe more. And then, like, three months later, the third time I tried it, I finally started seeing some of the advantages of JSX. And I realized that it was actually um, a pattern that I could, you know, get behind. And it made my complex UI development easier. So learning raw JavaScript, I would say, probably helped a, a little bit when it comes to something like React. But React is going to be completely different than, than writing just raw JavaScript if you're, if you're using JSX. Um, now... If you do want to be, like I said, cutting edge or even understand, you know, how J jQuery came to be and how it's considered or, or the different module patterns and things like that uh, for for you know modular development in JavaScript, I think it is going to be hugely beneficial to to concentrate on JavaScript more than anything else. I personally think JavaScript is the most important language right now. And that's coming from a guy that writes a lot of C sharp code for you know full-time employment and then i also write a lot of you know python and I've, I've done some node and everything else um and node is you know obviously a javascript api but um 
I would say, you know, right now and where we are, I mean, there's a lot of developers that have a lot of like Java backend experience or they have a lot of C sharp experience. But um, unfortunately, if, if you lack a lot of JavaScript experience, you're going to be kind of limited to what you can do with anything related to the UI. And the UI is very important. We're actually seeing the UI layer become just as important as the back end tier because we now see so much of the work that used to be done on the server is now being pushed to the client. Everything is, you know, the you know, RESTful APIs and clients, you know, data binding to your views and stuff like that. So for all those reasons, I think JavaScript is, is a extremely important language. So I think you need to ask yourself, just I'll sum this up. Ask yourself, do you want to be a JavaScript expert or do you just need to get a website up and running and working? Because if if the if the the latter is your goal, then I still think that jQuery would be a good way to go. I'm not saying don't do any JavaScript, but just you know jQuery with you know some JavaScript knowledge is going to probably um, serve you pretty well. If you want to know about all kinds of closures and like I said, modular JavaScript development, you want to create the next React library, the backbone, or the underscores, or knockouts, or whatever libraries you want to be involved in, then that's absolutely going to take a lot of in-depth JavaScript knowledge and it's not going to come quick or easily. So if anybody tells you that JavaScript is a simple language, they're full of shit, I mean, to the core, because JavaScript can be very, very complicated and it has, like I said, nuances that, that other languages don't don't have. It doesn't have the, you know, the browse or the uh, integrated development environment support like something like C Sharp or Java where you can just start stepping through stuff. I mean, you can do that in JavaScript with, with Chrome, but that's almost an entirely different skill set as far as how can you utilize browsers to make your debugging life easier with complex JavaScript code. So anyway, guys, that's that's basically my thoughts. I don't think that there is a right and wrong answer. There's going to be people that give you opinions on either one. Um, and really just ask yourself that. I personally do want to be a, an expert JavaScript developer one day, and I'm not there at all. Um, but that's why I am focusing more and more on, on in-depth um, JavaScript code. But the libraries are just as important as well. So you're going to find libraries differ very, uh, very, very much from one to the next. And um, they all take time and, and attention to, to learn. So anyway, guys, that's all I got today. So thank you for watching. Have a good day. Please subscribe. Bye.